So coming into the pictures here that you see here, this is from the Kristen Linklater book. Um, the one on the left, you'll notice that there's webbing. That's the diaphragm. And on the right, that's also the diaphragm. So the left one is when you're in taking the air. And the one right on the right is where you're speaking or singing. So this is a really nice visual because I love this idea of the tube that's going from the diaphragm all the way through the throat, up through the vocal tract, and out. We know we're not built that way. We just saw a video of what, we're actually, what we actually look like. But we need to have this idea that there's, there's this column of air that's just free and moving. So it's a wonderful picture. So if you notice, the one on the left, we'll see the arrows going down. And also on the, the sides here going out, there's your ribs. And, this, and the opposite is true on, for the picture on the right. So we're going to do a couple of deep breathing exercises. These are pre-vocal. We don't breathe this much for singing. We really don't. We don't need a lot of air for singing. But it's good to do the deep breathing to kind of get us back into a low breath. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to think about the breath coming from the diaphragm nice and low all the way up the chest. So we learn in singing the chest shouldn't move when we breathe. Um, that's not quite true. We, we don't want the breath to come from the chest. We don't want that one. We want this one. But if you took a full breath and continued that breath, it would go all the way up through the chest. So it's not as though the chest can't move. And as you might know, in singing, we can't have anything that's, that's being held in place. So the chest is another area we might tense because we were told that we shouldn't breathe from there. We shouldn't be having action there. So we tighten. So let's take a nice deep breath in, like a wave through the body. And release. Two more. And one more. So when I breathe, I breathe. I'm, I'm a little bit uncomfortable how much I'm taking in, and it's a good thing. That gives you a really good stretch. A deep breath to me used to be until I worked with Trudy and she, she said, keep going. And she had me on the, on the table and pulling on my diaphragm, keep going, keep going. And it was like, oh my God, taking so much air. But that's how you stretch. It's really wonderful. 